Apple loves to use stainless steel, but as we know, stainless steel scratches fairly easy. Taking a look at my first ever Apple product, the iPod with video. I got this back in 2005 on my birthday, and I mean, just look at those scratches. And believe it or not, it gives it that iconic design. We have the first ever iPhone using stainless steel around the frame. Very closely, as you guys can see, it's all scratched up. And even on modern iPhones, stainless steel on the frame. And on the Apple Watch, pretty much the whole thing is stainless steel. Even simple products as the AirTag also getting the stainless steel treatment. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to restore the stainless steel, make it look brand new or almost brand new. But nonetheless, I picked this up on Amazon. This is called the Right Polish Creamer. And let's just open this up. Now, fun fact, I was supposed to make this video when the iPhone 13 first release. I did mention that the reason why I didn't want to get another stainless steel iPhone is because of those scratches and you have to polish it out. This is going to work on any stainless steel product. So if you have stainless steel jewelry or even um, utensils such as forks or spoons or knives, this is going to work just fine. So it's going to restore that shine. It also comes with a little cloth. Of course, I'm going to throw a link in the description to this. But before I even do that, it is ideal to wipe off your products first. All right, so first up, we're gonna start off small with the AirTag. Had this since April. I lost my keys one time and this came to the rescue. We're gonna wipe it off with some disinfectant wipes. Then I have a microfiber cleaning cloth. Now this is just gonna assure, just to remove any you know dirt or anything like that so it just doesn't hinder the polishing process. We wanna take the polishing cream. Maybe take a little bit. Since this is a small product, we're gonna just take a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna take this much and we're gonna wipe it all around. So you can polish it like this, take the rag. So that's the key. You're not gonna get everything off, but take a look at the before and now after. It's somewhat improved, it's polished a little bit. And that's to be expected. You're not gonna get it 110% perfect just because of the deeper groove scratches. The Apple Watch is gonna be the biggest improvement just because the Series Zero here has so many scratches. I mean, look at the, the buckle right there. This, this is just so scratched up to the point where it's not even shining no more. So we're gonna buff this off and let's see if it's gonna make a big difference. Now, as I'm polishing up this Apple Watch, coming along a little well, this will not work on color stainless steel such as like Sierra Blue, Gold, this only works for uh, regular stainless steel. The problem with the other materials, it uses a PVD coating. And if you try to use this polishing cloth on like a graphite gold, it will fade off the paint. So for example, I have a graphite Apple Watch. I can't polish this. So once I get any scratches on this, it, it's basically game over. After 10 minutes of polishing it up, this is the best I could do too. To seeing what it was before, this is still a big difference. The best thing you could probably do when polishing up these Apple devices is probably get the machine to help you buff everything out so you're not putting as much pressure because you're gonna have to really rub it. You're gonna have to really rub it hard. That's what she said, to really get these scratches off. So, all right, I'm gonna do the iPhone. Probably why you guys even clicked on the videos for the iPhone or maybe for the Apple Watch. Even if I wipe it off with the microfiber cleaning cloth, it's just still all scratched up. So yeah, when you're polishing, your hands are gonna look like crap, but yeah, just look at that. You don't have to worry about getting any gunk because you can just simply wash it off. Because remember, there's water resistance here. Now, <laughs> you're gonna actually smell it. You know that that metal smell? You're gonna really smell it. When you rub it. And yeah, I'm seeing a difference already. And then if you look at the, the cloth, you can see it right off. Do one side at a time to make things a little bit more easy. And yeah, this is a big difference. So look at this side compared to the other side. All right, after polishing multiple devices, this is the result. Now, the most improvement, believe it or not, is the Apple Watch. With the Apple Watch, I see the most shine. You guys remember how it looked before? You barely couldn't even see it. Now, the only thing is around the crown area, I couldn't get to that point because the curvature is hard to rub it. And the thing is, you wanna rub it hard. You, you can't be too gentle. Otherwise, it's just not going to take effect. Nonetheless, I'm satisfied with this Apple Watch. This is the first generation one. And thanks to that sapphire crystal glass, you don't even see any scratches on the front. And even on the iPhone, 
you, you can really see that shine back. So that's the goal. Just bring it back the shine on your Apple devices. It might not remove all of the scratches. It's not going to do a perfect job, but this is still pretty awesome. And of course, this is going to apply to newer iPhones such as the 11, the 12, the 13. Um, if you have an iPhone 12 right now, you brought it last year, this is probably the time to polish it up. The original iPhone, forget about it. I couldn't really, couldn't really do it, but um, nonetheless, it's okay. You know, it's not the greatest. It's the least improved one. And on the iPod, same thing, least improved one, still scratched up, but you can still see that shine. Like you can even still see me. All right, guys, make sure you guys thumbs up the video if you guys find this one helpful. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this, and comment down below what you guys think. Until next time, have a simple day. Peace.